This video is brought to you by Surfshark. It doesn't matter if it's early wipe or late wipe. I'm always putting multiple types of ammos in my magazines. I used this with 762, 545, 556, and even 9 mil. Now the reasons for doing this fall into a few categories. First is ammo rarity. Hard to find ammo sometimes, right? Second is utility, having the ability to do multiple things in a single raid. And third is a mag indicator, which is just a way of telling you what's left in your mag. Now, utility is a big reason I do most things in Tarkov. Not just stack ammo, why I'll bring multiple guns like a sniper and an SMG, or multiple types of grenades, uh, F1s, RGDs, flashes, and even smokes. As well as why I run Grizzlies versus any other med. Now, this utility in the game is just a reflection of what I do in real life. I prefer to have lots of choices to cover all of my bases. And this is why my family and I use Surfshark VPN. And believe me, the utility of it comes in huge during the holidays. Surfshark VPN, or a virtual private network, is a middleman for your connection to the rest of the internet. Surfshark encrypts your data so that malicious actors can't gain access to it, even at public Wi-Fi spots. On top of this, it prevents your ISPs from selling your data. Ever wonder why when you visit a website that sells computer parts, you all of a sudden start seeing tons of parts ads everywhere else? Yeah, that's part of the reason why. One of the huge advantages to us, though, is specific to this time of year. Specifically during the holidays, people try to scam you with fake like discount ads and things like that. We're always shopping for good deals on gifts, as I'm sure you are, and scammers know that and they target that. By using Surfshark, not only do you reduce your risk of running into these types of ads, you also get notifications if your data has been leaked somewhere online. You get reminders of password changes, as well as the option for quarterly emails to provide you with personal data security reports. On top of all of this, Surfshark has a strict no logs policy, so they won't collect your data no matter what. I want you guys to be safe like me when shopping or just randomly browsing the net. And right now, Surfshark is offering three months for free and 85% off on a 24 month plan if you use my promo code or scan this QR code. And don't worry, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like it, no big deal. You're risking nothing by just trying it out. So take the step like I did and stop surfing the internet without protection. Thanks a ton to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. So, for ammo rarity being a reason to stack mags, you've got M61, 995, PBP, AP, all of these are really hard ammos to get a hold of. This means it's very easy to burn through them, even if you're very vigilant about stocking up. Now, it doesn't matter if you shoot all of your ammo or you die, you lose that ammo, it's gone, right? It, it goes away. So by spreading ammo out in your mags, you're burning through less specific types of ammo and using up other stuff and providing some utility in your fights. I'll still stack the good ammo on top of the mag, but I'll put second class ammo, if you will, on the bottom. So that way when I'm full autoing people, I still have the stopping power to stop heavily armored foes, but I still have decent ammo to finish the fight. Now I usually do a pretty good job of stocking up on ammo, but one of the only reasons I can do this is because I don't fill up my mags full of M61, 762 BP, BS or PVP. With that good ammo on top and the easier to acquire ammo on the bottom of the mag, there's just less being used each raid. In an MDR, for example, the 308, the 762 MDR, I'll load 10 rounds of M80 first into the mag, and then I'll put 10 rounds of M61 on top. If I'm running an MP5 with a or a vector with 50 round mags, I'll put 30 rounds of PST or even PSO on the bottom, and then 20 rounds of AP63 or PVP. And I have one basic principle that drives this split. When I'm fighting PMCs, the top of the mag is all you really need to get through armor. If I haven't killed a PMC with the top of the mag, I'm usually full autoing them anyways with a full spray. And if their armor's not damaged, I'm hitting legs, I'm hitting arms, you want that higher flush damage. And on top of this, the lower pen ammo usually has higher damage. So you, when you go to high pen ammo, it's lower damage, low pen dam, higher damage. It's not always the case, but most of the time. Now, one downside is, is this means that I usually do bring two types of ammo in. And repacking mags takes a little bit more tension, but with practice, it comes out, it, it gets easier with practice, and in the long run, it works out for me. Now for M4s, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I like to run a small pile on 995 on top of most of my mags if I can, just to get that little bit of armor penetration, but I'm talking 10, 20 rounds max. And then I'll usually put 855 in the rest, but I'll even put 856A1 in the bottom if I'm tight on all kinds of ammo, or if I'm running really big like 60 rounders. And that plays into another benefit we'll get into in a little bit. Now, utility itself is either the primary reason or a huge part of why I mix mags. And sometimes I'll even have three or four ammo types, especially early wipe, in a single mag. But that's more on the extreme end, and I don't expect much of anybody else to do that unless you're, you're a really min-max kind of guy like me. 
And this is a product of Tarkov's recoil system. So the first few rounds out of a gun have massive recoil. You know, if you, any of us that have tap fired, you know that your gun kicks a lot in Tarkov. Um, the full auto, your first three, four rounds, kind of all over the place, but then the gun settles back down because your PMC adjusts or whatever, however BSU wants to look at it. The fact of the matter is your first couple of rounds out of the gun have a lot of recoil. This initial jump is in part driven by the ammo you have, especially your higher end ammos, your higher pan ammos, almost all of them have a recoil modifier that adds recoil to the weapon. For example, with 545 ammo, Eagle Nick has a plus 15 recoil modifier, but 7 and 40 has a negative 20 recoil modifier. But 7 and 40 is extremely rare to find. I think in my over 1,000 raids in Tarkov, I might have found two, 300 rounds of it, and I look for it. So the solution here is to just put four or five rounds of that 7 and 40 on the very top of the mag, and then you fill it up with whatever else you want. Me? I usually run 60 rounders in my 545 AKs. So the bottom of the mag is either going to have BT in it, or I'll do a 50-50 split with BT, BS, or BT and Eagle Nick. But I will put the last five rounds as seven and 40, the last five on top. So it'll be 30 rounders of BT, 25 rounds of BS, and five rounds of seven and 40. Now, don't forget the round in the chamber either. Either leave it empty, so then you'll have to chamber it when you first get in, or put a round of seven and 40 in there as well. Now, if I don't have seven and 40 available, I'll just use US ammo, which has about a negative 25 recoil monitor. Its stats suck as it only has 15 pen. But if I'm full autoing players at medium range, I'd rather have five rounds land on target of crap ammo than five rounds sail over their head while the recoil adjusts. And this whole thought process applies to a lot of ammos. SS-190 and SS-193 for P90s, FMJ and Subsonic for MP7s, and one of my most frequently used is 300 Blackout with VMAX versus AP or M62 on the top of the mag. Now the last one is really simple. It's treating tracer rounds as warning rounds. If you put tracer rounds in the very bottom of your mag, so BT or uh, T45 or the very or uh, 856A1 like we talked about before, you get a visual indicator when your mag is empty. If you start seeing tracers coming out of your gun, you know that mag's nearly out of out of ammo. This works really well with 762 by 39, 545, 556, even 9x19 with green tracer. All of these provide tracer ammos that are cheap, middle of the road of effectiveness, and easy to get a hold of. So if you're in the middle of a fight and you see tracers, you know that you're almost out of ammo and you either need to reload or you need to reposition and set up for another fight. Now, I don't usually do this in 30 round mags, but the 40s and 50s I frequently do. Not just for a warning, but also for reason one as well, to spread that ammo out so I'm not burning up harder to get ammo. So go give it a try. Let me know how it works for you if you like it, if it's too much work, or if I just showed you something brand new to the game that you really enjoy. We'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in Tarkov.